with the Unbox Brothers, where we'll unbox just about anything. Sorry for the delay. I've been away for a long time. The truth of the matter is, is that I think that Dan and I are just plain lazy <laughs> and can't seem to get off our asses and put new videos together. This is an impromptu video. This is less of an unboxing and more of a recreation of an unbagging from earlier today. Now, uh, if you ever shop at an Asian market, you know that it's, uh, no, it comes as no surprise that you get surprised a lot when you buy things that you're not quite sure of. Today I went to one that's local to, this, to my neighborhood here, and I picked up uh, some things that I was familiar with, some curry ramen and some other noodles and some pot stickers to, to make some things for lunch. And I also picked up this bag of cookies. And there were a lot of them on the shelf, different flavors, and the different colors tended to denote what, uh, you know, what uh, flavor they are. So, you know, brown is obviously chocolate, and that's exactly what these are. Uh, there was the red for strawberry, and the yellowish, whitish is this vanilla, you know. So, and so I just sort of glanced at them, and I thought, oh, that looks delicious, thinking in my head for some reason that this was going to be a bag of uh, chocolate, like, wafer cookies. You know, eh, no problem. That's probably what it is, and I just assumed that that's what these were when I when I went and grabbed them. So, just a few minutes ago, I thought, oh, I'm gonna tear into those those cookies that I got. So I grabbed the bag, and I'm you know I'm looking at them, and there's a bunch of them in, in here. Um, and the first thing that caught me off guard was that I opened the end, and I went to go pull one out, and it wasn't coming out. I'm like, what the heck? So I grabbed it, pulled really hard, and they all came out together. Every package of these, individually wrapped, they are all linked together. That was surprise number one. Magic cream cookies. Okay, so I went ahead and tore one off and went ahead and, of course, reached inside or ripped one open. And the first thing I noticed when I opened this, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. This isn't exactly what I, what I had in mind. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is, is that they're not wafers. They, they look an awful lot like saltine crackers. And upon closer inspection, you'll find that what this really is, is <laughs> it's uh, uh, three saltine crackers. I think there's no salt. If there is any salt here, it's really, really light. Uh, three saltine crackers with some chocolatey kind of goop in the middle. And I thought, wow, okay. <laughs> so... Uh, I, and, and, and they're perforated, too. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that they're perforated, so you can bust one off and get crumbs all over your laptop. That's one way of doing it. So, uh, so I dug in. I thought, all right, let's try this. Hmm. Well, you know what? This is absolutely saltine crackers with chocolate in the middle. Really, really friggin' dry. Now, if you do end up with these, and by the way, the name of them is, they're Jack and Jill brand Magic Creams. And if I'd actually read the package, it does really say on the front here, Chocolate Cream Cracker Sandwich. So, that's what I get for not reading. But, the way these are constructed, it looks to me like they put down a cracker, they sploosh some goop down, and then they smash the next cracker on, and they sploosh some more goop on, and then they smash the top cracker on, right? So, by physics being what they are, and the nature of this, this manufacturing process, uh, the middle portion, there's three portions here. The middle portion is the best portion because it has mostly goop in the middle. So it's loaded with goop, end to end. See, goop, chocolate goop there. But when you get the, this, you know, here's one of the end pieces. Look at all the goop there. But when you turn it around, there's a lot of cracker there and really, really dry. The middle part, oh, mm. I was prepared to hate this. And they sure are dry as hell. Pro tip. Have some milk. Anyway, the middle section, super bomb. I never would have thought that crackers and chocolate would work together, but they do. So, if you find yourself in the Asian store and you see Jack and Jill Magic Creams, they're saltines with chocolate. Not bad. Not great. Doesn't suck, but, you know. Anyway, so there you have it. We're the Unbox Brothers. My name is Kevin. We'll unbox or unbag just about anything. If you have any suggestions, by all means, leave them in the comments. And uh, I hope you'll subscribe. And please pass this on. Tell your friends. We'd love some more viewers. Anyway, ciao!